what's a question that I didn't ask that I should have asked that would really help other entrepreneurs and leaders? So one of the things that I have a superpower in that surprises a lot of people is I close annual recurring revenue deals in an industry where most people do project work. And for some reason, I can just do it. And I've always done it. And it's just the way we price. And I don't do project work. We just don't. Everything's an annual retainer. And that has given us a higher valuation. And there's all like the only thing that happens when you tell someone I only do annual retainers is good stuff. Stuff. Like there's no downside. People, what are the, what's, what's the good stuff? Oh my gosh. You can forecast because you have ARR. So you can forecast revenue. You can forecast human capital that you need. You can get a higher multiple when it comes to sale or negotiating some sort of purchase. Nothing bad happens. The only thing that could potentially happen is they can tell you no. But if you don't hold true to your pricing model and say, no, we don't do it that way. This is our business model and you are not going to change it. This is the model. You'll never know. And the number of big deals that we have done that would have been cannibalized by project work, I couldn't even put a number on it. And so I hear all the time, I, I do a lot of, I shouldn't say a lot. I do as much as I can, like helping out women entrepreneurs that are trying to like make it work. And I'll tell them like, no, just tell them it's an annual retainer. There's, there can be a 60 day out in the contract or a 90 day out, it doesn't matter. But tell them it's an annual number so that they are okay with paying this money over the next year. And they have a really hard time just saying the words retainer. So I think the question that I would ask me is like, how do you do it? Like physically, how do you like get yourself to the point where you're like, we only do annual retainers and this is how it works. And I think it's just practice, <laughs> like practice in the mirror, practice on your kids, practice on your spouse. Like you have to be able to say the words with enough confidence. I think if you have clarity in your model and you have confidence in how you deliver the model, it is very clear to your prospect that this is the way we price. Conviction is a wonderful thing, right? But you have to yeah. be really clear about, I've said this a million times, I've made more money in my career saying no than I have saying yes. Yeah. Because that level of discipline and focus to say, this is the business I'm in. And I think to your point, being able to value yourself and what problem you're solving.